Hello, and welcome to Ask Excite, where we answer your questions about flow cytometry. Today's question is, how do I set the best voltage on my BD LSR2? There are several ways to do that, and I'd like to review those with you now. This applies to all of the BD Diva instruments, be it a, a Fex Canto, an LSR2, an Aria, or a Fortessa. The thing you don't want to do is set quadrants and put everything, all your negative populations in the first log um, of, the, of the, the, the plots. You do not want to do that. That is a, a, a recipe for, prone for disaster and yet how many of us learned when we were using earlier generation instruments. With new digital instruments, we want to look at PMT sensitivity. Now, you can get that information off the CSMT report which will list the optimal voltages based upon BD's CSMT and setting the background to 10 times the standard deviation of electronic noise. That's a good way to do it. A better way is to actually calibrate the PMTs using something like the PEAKS2 method, which was published by a, a, in a paper by a Holden Macker and Joe Trotter in 2006. In this case, we run a dim particle, the second peak of the Stereotech uh, eight-peak bead set, over a voltage range, and we plot the spread of the data, the CV versus that voltage range, and we look for the inflection point. That gives us the best point for setting voltages, and it becomes independent of using CSMT. The third method, which is probably the best method, is to start at either the CSMT or a peak two method, and then further do a tit voltage titration using your cells of interest along with the antibodies that you'll be using. In this case, you label the cells, with a, a titrated amount of antibody, and you run a voltage series starting at that optimal voltage that you've been given, and go a little bit up and a little bit down, and calculate the staining index, the separation between the two, looking for optimal separation. That's probably the best way to set your voltages on your instrument. But if you're doing a one-off experiment or a quick test, either CSMT um, values or, better yet, a peak two calibrated method. Thank you very much for listening, and remember, if you have any questions, reach out to us with the hashtag AskExcite, that's A-S-K-E-X-C-Y-T-E, and we'll be answering your questions next.